Shalom, Sister Kate here. I'm on my way into town to buy some uh, groceries and do some banking and so on. And I wanted to do a video today on this, the concept of holy. And I'm sure you have probably heard this before. I know you've heard of the word holy before. Um, let me do something technologically advanced. I'm going to turn the air con on in the car. so I don't sweat. Anyway, holy in the idea of, say, uh, the Catholic Church is this shining halo above your head. Somehow you're special. You're probably supernaturally special. Um, and I'm not sure where that concept came from because holy, if you look at the word and do like a strong search and so on, Holy doesn't mean you have like supernatural power. Holy means you're set apart. So you have to ask yourself, what am I set apart from? Well, the Old Testament tells you what you're set apart from. You are set apart from the nations, the other people around you. And for the Israelites in the Old Testament, the other nations were pagan. And there's another word modern people don't understand. Pagan does mean tree worshiper but pagan when you look up the word in it its essence is simply something not of Yahweh so any other culture people country etc who worship anything other than Yahweh is pagan so if you are set apart from the pagans then you are doing, you are in line, you are following Yahweh and his instructions, which is the Torah. If you are not doing his instructions, and that is what a huge part of the Bible is about, both the beginning, the Old Testament, and the New Testament. It's his instructions and his people and him telling them, keep my instructions and I will bless you and if you don't, I'm going to slam you. <clears throat> To be set apart, you are acting different from everybody else. So, like in my example, and I'm not saying my example is like everyone else's. When, you know, movies and news and talk radio talks about individualism and, you know, do your own thing and all that stuff. You know, I was brought up in that culture too. So, I always was doing things a little different from other people. But I also was doing things different from other people because I could see the emptiness of what those people were doing. For me to dye my hair blonde and tan my skin orange is an empty endeavor. It's going to ruin my hair and it's going to ruin my skin. And I plan on having these for a long time yet. So I never did that. I never went to a tanning bed and paid to have my skin burnt. I have very pale skin and so I have to be careful about my skin. I actually have to wear sunscreen all the time. Um, so being different was one of those things I noticed about myself but I thought why? Why is it important to me to be different? And then when I find Yahweh and that he has a different path it's like oh okay so now I'm already inculcated. I'm already of the mindset that I'm going to do things different from the matting crowd. Uh, and so being set apart, being different from what everyone else does is not so foreign a thing for me. But that's just me. If you are used to being part of the main culture, you know, if you're used to being wearing just the latest clothes that everyone's wearing and saying the things that everyone's saying and um, going to vacation where everyone else vacations, doing something different is going to be very hard for you. It's going to be, uh, it's going to require your faith, your faith in Yah, that his way is going to be superior to the way that you're following now. So holy is being set apart. And we are establishing that you are being set apart from the pagans, the non-Yahweh followers. And his way, is it's promised. I'm pretty sure it's in James where it says following his way gives you a peaceful life. Awesome. I'm all about a peaceful life. I don't want the drama. 
If you love the drama, then you are probably not following Yon. You are probably following a different pathway. And the drama will be there, but I don't know that the drama will sustain you over time. And I know for a fact, drama's gonna wear you out. It's gonna wear you out. But if that's what you want, you know, you do your thing. Oh yeah, okay, I need to turn around. This is not gonna work out. Um, so anyway, back to being holy. If you are to be set apart, and in the Bible, the only way for you to follow that is set apart is Yahweh's way, then your actions, your church, your congregation, should look different from every other congregation. And so many churches nowadays want to become social clubs. They just want to be people who go barbecue together and they um, have a little thrift store thing or a garage sale at their church building. Hang on now. Merchants in the temple, thrift store, I mean, garage sales at your church. Mm, yeah, Jesus was not really excited about that. Um, if you're having birthdays and celebrating Christmas together, then you're exactly like the pagans because that's what the pagans are doing. And you are to be set apart. You are to be different. Even the word says that people will know you as Jesus followers because you're going to be different. And the Christian church teaches that that difference is you love everybody. But Yahweh doesn't say, I want you to love everybody. Yahweh says, I want you to love your neighbor as yourself. And in his definition, your neighbor is another believer. You're not supposed to be out there embracing all those pagans and just loving on them like that. You're supposed to be trying to get them to wake up to Jesus and his way and the way of the Father. So, if you're in a modern Christian church and you're doing those things I was talking about and other things too, um, you're not being set apart. And if you're not set apart, then you're not really following God or Jesus. I've already said in other videos, when Jesus says the two most important commandments are love the Lord with all your heart and mind and love your neighbor as yourself, those are not new commandments. Jesus does not bring any new instructions. He reiterates his father's. He repeats his father's instructions because those two verses are... Deuteronomy 6.5 and Leviticus 19.18 restated. So Christians, Christian churches need to take a hard look at being different from everyone else and being set apart according to the Father's way. That is what makes you holy, not the halo. All right, bless you. Shalom.